Equatorial Guinea is a small country composed of a mainland portion plus five islands. It's one of the smallest on the African continent. Equatorial Guinea has experienced rapid economic growth due to the discovery of offshore oil reserves and in the last decades has become Sub-Saharan Africa's third largest oil exporter. Last week, the country hosted the Lyon X. Sullivan Foundation Summit in the Billion Dollar Sipopo Conference Center outside of the capital of Malabo. Hope Masters, President and CEO of the Lyon H. Sullivan Foundation, led the group of more than 300 delegates from the United States, the Caribbean, and Africans in the diaspora. So we come back home possessing souls that never forgot you, and we come back home after centuries of trying to find the bridge that would carry us over. And today, we arrive back home Crossing over the bridge my father laid called the Leon A. Sullivan Summit, and our legacy and the legacy of the African diaspora continues. So we come back from our passage today as educators, doctors, lawyers, investors, teachers, craftsmen. Some of us just wander back here because we have no place else to go, but you know you can always come home. Equatorial Guinea's long-time leader, Teodel Obiang Ngwema, officially opened the summit and said that he was proud to host the Leon H. Sullivan Summit because the foundation empowers underprivileged people worldwide by promoting the principles of self-help and social responsibility, despite the criticism from human rights activists and the international media. President Obiang said his country was open for business and offered free citizenship to African Americans and Africans in the diaspora. The ninth assembly of the Leon H. Sullivan Foundation Summit taking place here in Sipopo City was also attended by regional leaders including current and former presidents. Former Ghanaian president who chairs the board of the Leon H. Sullivan Foundation noted that this year's theme, Africa Rising, should not just refer to nations and the continent, but more importantly, it must be invested in the African citizenry to attain commanding heights in all that the people do. President Kufua also underscored the importance of the diaspora, saying that they are an important part of Africa. The large presence of our brothers and sisters from the diaspora. You are an important part of the African story. And it is in recognition of this that the African Union recognizes you as the sixth region of the continent. Even as Africa calls for partnerships with the outside world, I urge you to look back to your other continent and bring your enormous amount of talent and expertise to help in this development. This will be in the form of partnerships and transfer of capital and technical know-how where the benefits will accrue to all sides. Critics say that hosting this year's summit in Equatorial Guinea is part of President Obiang's systematic effort to whitewash his authoritarian regime and his family's unexplained wealth. While his supporters say that Obiang's government deserves some credit for transforming the country and for building brand new state-of-the-art cities outside of the main capital. Paul Niho reporting from Sipopo City in Equatorial Guinea.